Hi everyone, welcome to Science Circle. Today we will discuss about a very important topic in chemistry that is how we get the different chemical formulas of chemistry. So our topic is simple chemical formula yet little tough to understand. Now we will be seeing that different alphabets of different languages help us to form words. Same here in chemistry, symbols combine to form formulas when they are combined in a particular ratio. Before we learn to write the formulas, we should recall the different symbols of different elements and their valencies. A small chart showing the positive and negative valency is given to you. Here are few elements who are exhibiting both positive and negative valence. Here is a picture of bottle of water. It is a compound of hydrogen and oxygen. We know the formula of water is H2O. Now we will have a look of their valency and their valence electrons. In hydrogen there is one valence electron and in oxygen there is six valence electron. Now in order to complete the duplex structure of hydrogen and the octet structure of oxygen, hydrogen is sharing electrons with oxygen. Now in this picture, you can see hydrogen has uh, having its duplex structure and is stable, but not the oxygen as now oxygen is having seven electrons and to gain the octet structure, they have to gain one more electron. Now who will give this one more electron? none of the other hydrogen so again one hydrogen atom is sharing the electron and they are gaining the electrons and completing their octet and duplex structure so here in this structure you can see three atoms are completing their octet and duplex structure this is the structure of water which is represented as h2o as two hydrogen atom is used and is written 2 in the subscript and 1 oxygen in it, 1 is ignored. Now let us have a look of few more formulas. Formula of HCl, H valency 1, Cl 1 and just cross multiplication we are having 8 Cl of hydrogen chloride. Next carbon tetrachloride, same here carbon is having valency 4, chlorine is having valency 1. Just by cross multiplication, we are having the formula as CCl4, sodium sulfate. We are taking sodium and sulfate. Now, the formula will be as Na2SO4. But before we go that, we have to find it out how it goes. Ex symbols are Na and SO4, charges plus 1 minus 2 ignoring the charges crossover rule is applied and we get the formula as Na2SO4 so once again recall the steps example taking as magnesium chloride we will first write the symbols the metals to be written in the first followed by the non-metal or the positive valences will be written in front followed by the negative valencies write the valency of the symbols with the charges Interchange the valency and ignore the charges. Fourth step will be write the interchange number at their base. Then write the formula of the compound. Ignore if they are having one as the subscript. So here we are showing the example of magnesium chloride who is having the formula of MgCl2. Another example can be discussed that is calcium oxide. Now here the symbols are shown as follows and their valencies are also written and the crossover rule is applied and we get as Ca2O2. Now here there is a little bit different type of rule to be applied here as the valence is having a common factor so we shall be taking the hcf of the subscripts and then divide it 
by the HCF we get to get the lowest ratio and we will finally get the formula of calcium oxide as CaO instead of writing Ca2O2 we write the formula as CaO now by seeing the name of the compound and if we know the symbols and the valencies we can easily solve it out and get the chemical formula you can try it by yourself and you will find it very interesting a small chart of few formulas are given to you all try to frame the chemical formula by yourself only and then the check the answer whether it is correct or wrong before we close the session of this chemical formula let us have a look of the guidelines of framing the formula formula must be always electrically balanced a neutral compound to be formed that is total positive charge should be equal to the negative charge hope this video will help you to frame the different formulas very easily if you like my video please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you for watching my video